Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. I've got a 14 by 14 um, gallery wrapped canvas from um, Hobby Lobby. It is their master, grand co grandeur collection. And of course I got it on sale, always, always. And I wanted to show you guys the painting from last night. It's almost dry. It's like, yeah, it's pretty much dry. This is what happened. And I have a feeling I know why. The um, Liquitex pouring medium I put in was the gloss. So I think the gloss has a little bit of varnish in it. Varnish does not go well with water. So this evening I used, because I'm out of the regular, I used the pouring medium iridescent. So there's not going to be any gloss or um, varnish or anything like that. I mean, the colors are pretty. I don't know. I mean, I really like this part. This sucks. It just sucks. So I don't know. I just don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, but uh, I will give the Amsterdam a go again, but with the correct pouring medium, unless maybe that was just a problem. It might just be the Amsterdam. So I have prepped my canvas. I am going back to the bear mixture, the bare satin enamels, uh, cloud pour mix. And, you know, as a matter of fact, I want to show you exactly what happened yesterday. I don't know if you could see this or not, but there are, let me see. You can see little ridges on the sides of the container. That's the varnish separating from the paint. I don't know if you could see that. This was mixed last week, same color, and it does not have that. I can put the lid on so I'm not pouring all over here. It doesn't have it at all. So there's a good um, lesson learned. Always a lesson to learn. All right, so my colors tonight are very Eastery. Now I um, consider myself a recovering Catholic. Um, I don't believe in, I don't believe, I, I have a spiritual nature. I'm very, very spiritual. But um, yeah, church and I, mm -mm. So anyhow, this is, we're going back to the boom gels. And this is Pilly, oh Jesus. Lily Pilly Pink. This is Lily Pilly Pink. This is Iridescent Watermelon. This is golden wattle yellow, but I added a little bit of, you know it, Cronacridone Nicolaso Gold. Um, I didn't like how bright this yellow was. Just, it, it's hurting my eyes almost. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be really good for looms and swipes, but for this pour, I didn't want something that wild. So that's a pretty color. And I do also have this is golden fluid in green gold. And I don't know if you can see my consistencies there. It just flow right off the stick. No mount. Oh, I also have, this is, I'm not sure if I'm going to add this or not. This is the um, Hebio Iridescent Green Blue. Not the blue green, the green blue. I love this color. So this might go in the mix as well. But I gotta make sure I put it in a, a smaller container because I don't need to use that much paint. This is only a 14 by 14. So let me put this in. There we go. That'll be very Eastery. Oh my goodness. All right. I might get two pours tonight. I'm ambitious. I do want to do a monochromatic as well with the um, Cabio Iridescent Green Blue. And we're going to get started. So, I still don't know how much a 14 by 14. I'm going to say 10 ounces of paint. Um, so I keep my jars. This is deco art. This is bare. <laughs> kind of a, a D and a B are very close, though. I've got to be careful. And I'm going to put this in a different cup. Put it in a nine ounce cup, just so I have control over the pour. That seems like a lot of 
paint. I don't think I need that much. Seven ounces, maybe. Always got it right here. And we're going to go ahead. This Lily Pilly looks darker in the bottle than it does in here. Hmm. Interesting. All right, I'm going to flood my canvas. This is the bare satin enamels. I'm going to put the recipe in the um, description. I'm sorry I missed, I, I didn't even, I couldn't, re I didn't remember that I had switched pouring mediums, the Liquitex pouring mediums yesterday when I did that. I didn't think it would make a difference, but I guess it does. So let's get it to move down here. Everything's covered. Swish, swish, swish. Now, this will be interesting. Hmm. What do I want to start with? And how do I want to do this? Let me torch first. I'm getting such a kick. I'm so addicted to these pores, I can't stop. They're just too much fun. Um, I might do something like that. Whoa, talk about Easter egg. Woo! Easter's coming up this, su this Sunday. For all of you who do participate, I think that's great. <laughs> I'm just, I have got such a good spiritual connection with my higher power now. It's just, it's a wonderful thing. All right, I'm gonna give it a quick torch. I don't know how these colors are gonna turn. I do know that I want some more. I always want more, more of the green blue. I always put too much color on, don't I? They always turn out pretty, pretty, pretty good though. The thing is you can control this mess by once you tip it off. And I'm not liking this guy right there. There we go. And off we go. I usually go corner to corner. Bring it back. Ooh, this is interesting. Boom gels. Oh, the colors are so pretty. I don't like that squiggly up there. Let's keep it moving. It's starting to sell up. I need to get enough paint off. And back it goes. That is one Easter egg. <laughs> that is an Easter egg, that's for sure. Holy jeez. We'll see how it turns out. Could be a very interesting piece. I'm interested to see how that green blue sells up. Although I didn't put it on the corner, so it's gonna be, um, it might not sell up at all. But it's interesting that this, the green blue and then the pink turned into the purple. Of course, blue and pink would make purple, but I didn't realize blue was that dominant. So let me get my torch out. Those 
spoon gels really react well with the bare paint. I find that they react better with the bare than they do with the, the Decorate Scent Enamels. All right, I'm gonna play, you know me. Look at the cells starting up already though. Let me move this down a little bit, get some cells, and then back up. Oh yeah. This is a Dwight trick I saw on one of his videos. It works. Move the paints back and forth to create more cells. Oh, that is going to be pretty. Let's hope they all sell up. All right, I'm putting you on time lapse and I'm going on break. Now look at this, the pink and the um, watermelon mixing here. That is gorgeous. All right, putting you on time lapse. Back in a flash. This doesn't say Easter. I don't know what does. <laughs> wow. These are bright Eastery colors. I had fun with this one. I really did. It's really cool. But it looks like the um, Hebio does not sell. I don't know. Maybe I should try it on its own. This is really cool how it gradiates over to that. From the, it looks like a purple. And it goes over into a pink and peachy color and oh, it's that watermelon and right up here too oh god look at that isn't that gorgeous and look at my cells they look like little teeth <laughs> oh this was it was fun this is my um easter pour easter colors isn't that gorgeous? That's the watermelon from uh, Boom Gel. Pretty. And that's the Pepio. It's got something thing to it too. And made some like, I don't know, like ferny looking flowers. I think most of my pores look like the ocean of some, <laughs> probably because I live near the ocean but it kind of looks like coral or something. In any case, um, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe, and please be safe and create. Ciao for now. See you next time.